How you doing? Welcome to the BBPCO kitchen where we don't use the word test because when it comes to making pizza at home, we know what we're doing. You're here for the dough. Same day dough, not 72 hour dough, not 90 hour dough. We don't have time for that. We all got stuff to do. This is to be made and eaten with family and friends on the same day and share the love. Here's what you'll need. 500 grams unbleached bread flour, 10 grams kosher salt, 30 grams olive oil, two teaspoons or seven grams active dry yeast, one teaspoon of sugar, 320 grams room temperature water. Out of the 320 grams of water, pour a fourth cup into a separate glass. Heat water between 100 and 110 degrees. Place the yeast in the heated water, followed by the sugar, and give it a mix. Let it dissolve and become foamy. Within five to 10 minutes, this is what you'll have. And if it's not foamy, forget about it. Your yeast is dead, don't use it. Add the yeast to the flour. Add the water. Add the oil. And add the salt. Don't let it sit. Start mixing it all together. Start working it into a dough. Use it to clean the sides of the bowl. Once it's all come together, turn it out onto your counter and start to knead. Use the palm of your hand. Push, pull it back and fold it over. Push, pull it back, fold it over. Push, pull it back, fold it over. So what we're doing here is we're incorporating air into the dough. This is gonna give us the tunnel of love. You could do this in a stand mixer, but if you're gonna learn how to do dough, you gotta feel the dough. You gotta talk a little bit to the dough, you know, while you're doing it. You good? You almost there? Not yet. Build a relationship. To start to form it into a ball, I like taking my hands and tucking it under, turning it, tucking it under, turning it, just like that, over and over again until you see it start to get smoother and smoother. If it's got a little bit of a hole, clamp it together and give it a little twist, and you can even smack it if you want to. Now we're going to put it in a lightly oiled bowl. Put a little bit of olive oil on the dough as well and rub that around because we're going to cover with a saran wrap and we don't want it to stick. All right, so here's what we got. Now we're going to take some saran wrap. Now we got it covered nicely. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to take it and we're going to put it into the oven. Now with the oven on. Just so it's not sitting on the cold counter because it will proof better in the oven. So if you got to put a little sticker on there or something to remind you not to turn it on, go for it but we're gonna let it go for two hours for the first rise. So grab a drink, go catch up with the, the folks and uh, we'll see you in a bit. All right, it's been two hours. Here's what we got. Now we're gonna divide it up. We divided it up in three dough balls, 283 grams per ball. That will give you a 12 to 14 inch pie. Now, if you're into that big crust thing, you can do two dough balls at 425 grams. Now we're gonna take a lightweight kitchen towel and cover it for another hour and a half to two hours. If you don't have a lightweight kitchen towel, don't get a book. You can just use saran wrap. One other thing, make sure you follow this recipe to the amounts I gave you if you want authentic Brooklyn style dough. Cause like my cousin Vinny learned, it's gotta be dead on balls accurate.